The United States Air Force is famous for its power and advanced technologies. This stands as a symbol of the American military strength. The U.S. Air Force has a fleet of powerful helicopters that serve as an essential component for military services. Do you know about the powerful and high-speed billion-dollar helicopters that the U.S. Air Force has? In this video, we will explore the powerful helicopters that the U.S. Air Force has. Before getting started, show us some love by smashing the like button and subscribing if you haven't already. If you are as curious as me, let us dive in, guys. The United States Air Force is one of the major components of the United States Armed Forces. The U.S. Air Force has many powerful fighter jets and helicopters, but many of them started to age, so they need to create more helicopters and fighters that have more power and are more efficient than others. In this video, we will discuss the most powerful helicopters that the U.S. Air Force has. The Army is planning to make more efficient helicopters where the production cost is lesser and increase the safety options in them. They need helicopters that have modern technologies. Since new technologies are introduced, this will help in making the more efficient helicopters for the U.S. Air Force. First, we have the MH-6 Little Bird. These are light utility helicopters that are used for military observation of a region to locate an enemy or for special operations by the U.S. Air Force. The MH-6 helicopters have been in service since the 1960s. This is the oldest helicopter in the Army inventory. They introduced a new program known as the FLRAA. The goal of the FLRAA program is to develop a new class of helicopters that are more powerful, have high speed, and are more sustainable. Because of this program, it has awarded more contracts to develop prototypes. These are being tested and evaluated by the Army. The Sikorsky X-2 technology is a technology that was developed by the Sikorsky aircraft. This technology aims to improve the capacity and power of the helicopters. To improve the speed and to move the helicopters in different positions easily, they have a counter-rotating coaxial. Because of the introduction of this technology, helicopters can eliminate the need for a tail rotor. It also has an integrated power system, where the power transmission will be from the engines to the rotors, which helps in improving the efficiency and reducing the fuel consumption rate. The main goal of the X-2 technology was to double the speed of the helicopters by increasing their efficiency and maneuverability. The Sikorsky S-97 Raider is a high-speed helicopter that was developed by Sikorsky Aircraft for the U.S. Air Force. They were developed for the Army's future vertical lift programs they have a unique rotor system. They have an amazing blade concept. This helicopter has two coaxial rotors that will be rotating in opposite directions. This technology or feature eliminates the helicopter's need for a tail rotor, reduces drag, and improves the speed. This will make the Raider suitable for low altitudes and will make it easier to fly in small areas. In some cases, the operations will be in confined areas. This technology will allow the Raider to fly in those confined areas without any difficulties. To demonstrate the powers and capacities of the Sikorsky S-97, Raider, and Sikorsky Boeing Defiant helicopters, a series of events were held in 2020. In these demonstrations, the two helicopters were made to fly together to understand the powers and capabilities and allow the viewers to differentiate them. They also provided many valuable data regarding the Raider and Defiant helicopters. These data included their speed, maneuverability, and range. They showcased the progress in developing the next generation helicopters. The Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant was developed by the Sikorsky aircraft. This was the first Boeing to make an entry in the Army's future vertical lift program. This happened in 2013 when Sikorsky and Boeing came together and teamed up to develop a joint entry for the FVL, Future Vertical Lifts Program. The design of the helicopters will be made by the Sikorsky and they will be responsible for that. The propulsion system will be developed and maintained by Boeing. The main aim of this program was to develop two types of helicopters. They are the future attack reconnaissance aircraft and the future long-range assault aircraft. As a result of this, they developed and introduced the SB-1 Defiant. This is a compound helicopter with a coaxial rotor configuration and a pusher propeller. This was not like the other helicopters that existed this line had a unique design. In this also, the coaxial rotor configuration eliminates the need for a tail rotor. It reduced the drag and increased the speed with maneuverability. 
The Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant, which is a compound helicopter, went into rigorous testing to evaluate its power and capacity. This was designed for the United States Army's future long-range assault aircraft program. The speed of this aircraft was over 247 knots. This made it one of the fastest helicopters in the world. Yes, guys, this is mind-blowing. It demonstrated a range of over 300 miles. They have the power to carry loads of over 4,000 pounds. This can perform low-level flights between 50 feet and 100 feet above the ground level. This makes the military operations more successful. This will also prevent the army not to being identified by the enemy radars while flying. The enemy will find it hard to find or detect this helicopter, so that the survivability of this helicopter is also increased. The enemy will face more difficulty in identifying these helicopters if they are flying in hills and valleys. They can even land in narrow landing zones and confined areas. This is very important for the military operations. In one test, the helicopter performed a near vertical drop from 2 to 36 knots to a confined landing zone. This was done while maintaining a level body position. This proved the stability of the helicopter despite the difficult landing conditions. The coaxial rotor configuration and the pusher propeller provide the helicopter with additional thrust and enhance the speed and rang. This helicopter is not made in a single experiment. The planning and the testing span over eight decades. This is indeed a success in the aviation industry. In the industry of making helicopters, the famous company is the Bell Helicopters. The experiment started in 1935 in a small shed, but now it has developed many new technologies and contributed to making a wide range of innovative helicopters. They designed two helicopters for the U.S. Air Force Vertical Lift Program. They are the Bell 429 and the Bell V-28 Valor. The Bell 429 is a versatile light twin helicopter. On the other hand, the Bell V-28 Valor is a tilt rotor aircraft. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is a tilt rotor aircraft that combines the vertical takeoff hover and the vertical landing qualities of a helicopter. These combinations made this helicopter famous and suitable for various military operations and also for civilian applications. Since this has a tilt rotor design, helps the helicopter to take off and land vertically, hover, and fly forward. In 2022, the Army selected the V-280 Valor as the winner of the future long-range assault aircraft program. The Army is now planning to buy 300 V-280 Valors to replace the existing Black Hawk helicopters. The initial testing of this helicopter will check on the stability, controllability, and response to pilot inputs. The efficiency of this helicopter will be compared with the existing and competing aircraft. This will evaluate both their strength and weaknesses. Since modern technologies are introduced, the military also needs weapons and equipment that are up to date. Replacing the existing helicopters in the Army with more powerful helicopters will help the Army to do the military operation more efficiently.